Hey everybody, we are back with another review, and today we are checking out the Guilds of Ravnica Fat Pack, which is the newest set release for Magic the Gathering. And the Fat Pack contains a custom spin down life counter with the Guilds of Ravnica, um, different guild dice. We got one premium full version of each basic land. That's pretty cool. A 75 card basic land pack, standard. We got the Guilds of Ravnica card box. We got the 10, 15 card booster pack and the player's guide. That's my favorite thing in this. This is the player's guide. So it's the main reason why we buy this basically because then we have the official checklist of everything that's in the set along with getting 10 booster packs with it too. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, the booster packs the booster packs are always good to get. And there's our little, our little security thing. Our little free box. They don't even really talk about that anymore. It's a little free box. Basically, it's just a little space keeper. But uh, get that little, little free box there. We got our Guild of Ravnica player's guide. We got Sarkon on the back there, advertising the arena. The arena game. And then we got the Guilds of Ravnica slip sleeve. And of course, you know that I like to pop open very carefully. They do put that glue there so that you can peel it. If you're careful. The Guilds of Ravnica playmat slash poster. Get the little Guilds of Ravnica. The magic logo with the floating city, pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, the Guilds of Ravnica, a little poster, that is pretty cool. Slash play mat, I guess you could say. And then we got our box with no Guilds of Ravnica branding, but it does have the seal on the side, so. Here is our booster packs. Now I will say I believe the new thing that is added to this, the foil lands, I believe that's new. I don't remember them including foil lands. I only remember getting foil lands on chance, luck. Um, so we have some basic cards here which kind of just explains um, the different kind uh, formats, uh, quick phases here so some nice quick draw cards not so much the booklet that they used to include the quick start guide that is no longer in play I guess that's not included here so let's see what we got here there we go I believe that's the what Selesnia I don't know I could be wrong I don't know all the guilds so but yeah there we go we got the nice green die that's pretty cool the green die and I'll put that box aside so let's check out they always have the top cards in the front here uh, we got the first five House of Demir the is it Golgari the Boros the Selesnia so yeah there you go that was Selesnia the die um, that's the guilds they explain the guilds there uh, backdrop, you got Vraska, you got Lazav, you got Etrata. So we got, we didn't pull, we didn't pull a Vraska, but we did get a Lazav, Etrata. Um, did not get a Iz, uh, Izoni. Let's see what we got here. We did get Tajik. Uh, Oriella, no, we didn't get her. We did get Amara, uh, no uh, Trostani. That's pretty cool artwork. All right, here we go. The coolest ten cards: Vraska, of course, number one. Divine Visitation. We got one of those. Invert and Invent. We yanked one of those. Arch Arclight Phoenix. We didn't get that yet. Omni Spell Adept. We yanked that in the last video. Tajik, we got that. Night Veil Predator, we got one of those. World Soul Colossus, we yanked one of those. The Gruesome Menagerie, we did not get one of those. 
and a house guild mage. We did get one of those, so that's pretty cool. Some more advertisements here, cross promotion, and then we got the entire set here, which is pretty cool. Love how they do it in color color order here. Pretty sweet. Now again, what I'm going to do is I'll go through all these and then um, I'm going to skip to the end here where it's got the... Okay, so card 273 is a buy a box promo that doesn't appear in booster packs. It's legal for tournament play in any format that includes Gills of Ravnica. So Impervious Great Worm, that's that mythic right there. All right, cool. So let's check out some of the the gold cards that they have. Oriella, Exemplar of Justice, Chance for Glory. Those are some mythics they got there. Um, let's see what else we got here for Lazav. Uh, Mnemonic Betrayal, Raul. Alright, so we got a pretty good survey of everything that was, and then Vraska, of course. Thousand Year Storm, wow, that'd be, wow, there's a lot. Holy mackerel, Underrealm Lich, yeah, there's a lot here, uh, Mythic-wise. So, without further ado, Let's start popping open some packs here. Let's start off with our lands and see what kind of foil lands we got. Let's check out this new, this new craze, the new addition to the fat pack. All right. All right, we got a foil forest here first up. Pretty sweet. We got this mountain swamp. This is the foil island. And lastly, plains. So lots of spires in those uh, ones that they have chosen for us. So now we have our nice stack of 10 booster packs. So let's snip the tip and get right into it. Actually, you know what? We'll do them all that way because wizard shoots them all to the bottom and you buy them like this so we're hoping to yank a Vraska out of some of these packs for sure there's definitely one we do not have all right Let's see what we got here in our first pack that we're popping today. We're going to skip directly. Let's go directly. There we go. Runaway Steamkin. That's our rare for the pack. All right. We're just going to go straight to the rare. We got Find and Finality. Necromiva. Nice. There is it. <clears throat> so far, pretty impressed with uh, the unboxing that I had with the booster pack. The booster packs. Um, this one, we'll see. Quasi duplicate. Ooh, unmoored ego, and that's a foil or rare. Superb. All right, experimental frenzy. Nice, and partisan bats foil. 
see what we got. Swift played Vindicator. Distinct guide foil. So far we got I think three foils out of this out of this uh little fat pack. All right, response resurgence. Boros. All right. Ooh, a dream eater. Nice. We got a mythic out of this box. Makes it worth it. Gets us closer to making it worth it, let's just say that. That's pretty gnarly. Rhizome Lurcher. Pretty gnarly. Alright, gruesome menagerie. Excellent. Alright, last pack, see what we got. Temple Garden. I do have one of these, but I might have a use for a green or should I say a Selesnia guild deck. So we got a crazy stack of commons and uncommons so far from this set. But um let's check out what we got here. We got a dream eater. Experimental Frenzy, Unmoored Ego Foil, Quasi-Duplicate, and Runaway Steamkin. Pretty sweet. <clears throat> Pretty good unboxing. I definitely like the, um, the Fat Packs, not only for the Player's Guide, but it gives you another shot at getting fat, you know, more packs as well. Because basically, you're paying $4.20 a pack normally. Um, you buy the, the Fat Pack for under 40 probably 30 30 dollars and change or so 35 maybe um you're basically paying three three dollars and fifty cents a pack for each pack plus you're getting the player's guide the die the land pack the foil lands you know saying the the box all the gear that comes with it um that's basically free and you're still getting a discount on the packs if you think about it so i still like picking up the fat pack as well along with the booster pack the booster box um because it just makes it have you have a little bit more of a, an edge in regards to getting a complete set, which is the reason why I kind of go for this type of tactic. So if you like this review, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe. We do TCG reviews every single Tuesday, so be on the lookout for that, and have a great rest of your day.